One of the real advantages in Blender is the fact that it's open source. And being open source and having a very large developer base behind it and a very, very enthusiastic, adamant community, it has an incredibly fast development cycle. On average, a new version of Blender with significant feature additions, huge list of bug fixes and whatnot, a new version is generally released every two to five months throughout the year. And th you know this can be a blessing and a curse, but for the most part, for those of us that really a enjoy playing with new features, but then also you know are re very reliant on seeing existing bugs that may be causing us problems, seeing those fixed, having this fast development cycle is very very nice. You know rather than having to wait an entire year until the next version is released, we've got a new version every couple of months. And one of the other advantages to this being open source is the fact that anyone can go play with the development builds. So if there is a new feature that's heavily under development, such as you know maybe some new Cycles feature for the Cycles render engine, or perhaps uh, some of the developments going on during this recording even is through the Google Summer of Code, and we're seeing very significant improvements to the Smoke Simulator system in Blender. And so if you wanted to go use development builds, which these ones that I'm showing you will not include those Smoke Simulator improvements, just so you know, um, they're, they're in another branch. But if you wanted to use the official development build to see what the newest features are or check to see if a bug has been fixed or anything like that, then there's it, these are actually very easy to do. And there's two ways to do it. Number one, you can get the official daily build from blender.org via builder.blender.org slash download. And the macOS 10 version has been out of date for a little while. There's a problem that they need to resolve with that, again, at the time of this recording. Uh, but then in the Linux and Windows versions are updated daily with the latest commits that have been added and literally allow you to download this on a day-by-day -day basis as a portable version so it works directly out of the extracted folder. There's no need to actually install anything. And in fact, I'm actually, the version that I've been recording with for these last couple of videos is this version here that was downloaded earlier this morning and has all of those latest developments in it. And so this is, right, at, currently, this is the Blender 2.64 beta build, essentially, uh, but will be released shortly after or shortly before the release of this DVD. And so this allows you to very easily get development builds for Blender that you know you can test any of the latest features, latest bug, fi bug fixes and whatnot. The other way, if you wanna download some user built versions that may, may or may not be more stable or include additional features or additional add-ons or anything like that, the key place to go is graphicall.org. And this is a, a community site that allows anyone that has built um, the ability to compile to then upload any of their builds. So we can see that here's Blender 2.63 for Linux using the Freestyle Render Engine. That is a third-party render, or more like a post-production, post-processing render component that's being developed. We got Dynamic Topology Sculpting that's currently in development right now to allow. Uh, very easy dynamic topology while sculpting. We've got various development branches, including the fried chicken and tomato branches. And these are specific branches of the Blender code that were used for Google Summer of Code. And this one in particular is now being used by the, uh, the Blender Foundation for the Mango project uh, right here for some of their testing features that may or may not be trunk ready for the official version. So we can see all kinds of different versions here. You are able to filter by the system or the application that you wish to use. It does have Blender, GIMP, LuxRender, Yaffray, and Inkscape. Blender is obviously the most prominent one though. And then of course you can filter by the individual system. So in this case, I would want Blender and I am running on a Windows system. So I would choose Windows. And then I can see all of the Windows versions uh, sorted by date for the newest ones at the top and go in and download any one of these. You can also see in these that they do include the revision number. So if you happen to know the exact revision of a feature that you wanna get, then you can see exactly you know, whether or not this build will include that or not.